Oh guys, Butch Boy Tommy here, and last video on the old F35. So, um, for you guys that have followed this all the way through, patience of a saint, you have got the patience of a bloody saint. And I thank you for watching, um, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you got hints and tips out of it, I hope you've got some sort of ideas, you know, sort of a, a way of working things through and stuff like that. Um, or I hope you were just entertained at the end of the year, but... Uh, you know, I hope you got something out of it. But uh, just get to the final part here. So get the tail fin it done. Obviously, oh, this was a bloody nightmare, guys. Honest to God, it's it, the tail fin goes off on an angle. It's it's angled as well, and it's it's it blocky as hell. Absolutely blocky as hell. It would have looked lovely in customs. This had it been smaller. But as I say, I couldn't make it any smaller because it, it would just be too blocky. Um, and the last thing you need is, is a model like this to be too blocky. It would just look shite. So, unfortunately, I couldn't get it in customs. But, as you can see, the process I go through, um, you can get hints and tips. So, you guys that build, uh, want to build fancy models with customs and that. You know, there's nothing stopping you building it full size first, split it into a grid, and then build your customs around. Because a lot of like models like this, you can't make a, um, say two custom blocks and then build the model out of it. Every custom block's got to be unique. Because you got to think like the Spitfire had the camouflage on things like that. So I couldn't build like uh, you know one wing then the other and just flip the custom blocks around. Cause it just wouldn't work. It had to be unique. So cutting copy and paste um work to treat there to know exactly what to put in each custom block um it does use a lot of custom blocks and you can only get you know you're limited to how many models you can get in your world but the, the effect is fantastic um and that's what we'll go for in, in this game and it effects we're here to make make stuff absolutely fantastic so it looks good uh getting to the end of this nearly done just awesome about the shape and stuff like that. Make sure everything's nice and uh, smooth. <laughs> smooth. <laughs> That's a laugh, isn't it? But uh, I will get it in there. So I'm just adding a bit of shape. You know, where it joins in and stuff like that. But, um, and hopefully, guys, you guys that know your planes and stuff like that, hopefully, I've done it justice. Um, you know, I really. I, I used to be so reluctant to do like real stuff. I mean, people used to say, build this, build that. And then I used to be, ah, I didn't want to do that. Because obviously if you arse it up, um, it shows. So I hope I've done it justice. I hope I haven't arsed it up too much. Um, you know, I hope it looks all right. Let's get that final block out of there. There you go, and that's your tail thing. Now then, so, as I say, when I did the Spitfire, I built the model, that's how I built it, I built it like that, added me detail and what have you, got it exactly the way I wanted it to look, and then, I got like a, an, you know, an 8x8x8 eight 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 block, um, just the corners, mine, just the corners, and built a grid round it like that, see how it's gone? So they're all together, 8x8x8, eight eight eight, and it goes right through the plane like that, okay? Then what you do, you just take away the ones that wouldn't have anything in. Get rid of them out of the way. And then basically you just copy and paste each corner. Top corner, bottom corner. You know, so you get the whole block. Take it to your workshop. Place it outside the workshop. So build yourself a little platform or something like that. Um, and just place the block. But make sure every single block you place is in the same place. And you build it facing the same way as you're looking at the block. And that means when you copy and paste your custom model, everything's exactly the same, and you don't get any of that twisty turn. Okay, but there you go, there's the model, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, but uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, don't forget, Photoscraft development game, still getting developed. Get it out there, guys, get people knowing about it. Keep smiling now, ta -da.